Hi. In this video, we'll be talking about the structure of an HTML page. So here's an example of a simple web page. We see that up in the browser tab, this web page has a title. It says, my first web page. And on the actual page, we have the phrase, hello. Now suppose we were trying to write the HTML document that creates this web page. We have the text, my first web page, and we have the text, hello. How can we tell the browser that we actually want the my first web page text to go up in the browser tab? And we want the hello text to actually appear on the page. Well, it turns out HTML has plenty of tags that help us tell the browser where we want the text to go. We have tags that can define the structure of the HTML page. So here is the skeleton for a basic HTML page. And there's a lot going on here, so let's break this down tag by tag and see what each tag is doing. So here we have the doc type. Doc type tells the browser which version of HTML we are using. So this tag says that we're using HTML5. Note that this is not an actual HTML tag. This is just a comment at the top of the file telling the browser which version of HTML we're using. You'll need this at the top of all of your HTML pages. Next we have the HTML tag. The HTML tag says that everything between the opening and closing tag is our HTML page. The HTML tag is the container for all other tags. Our entire page is going to go inside of the HTML tag. Now we have the head tag. The head tag contains important information about the document. It contains metadata. So metadata is data that describes data. So the head is data about the actual page. It's not the page itself, it's just information about the page. And there's a few special tags we can include in here. Specifically, we can include the title. So the title tag defines the title of the web page. This is data about the web page. It's describing it. This is the title. So the title is actually displayed in the top of the web browser inside the, the tab. Down here, we have the body tag. Now, the body tag is where the actual content for the document goes. The text, the images, everything on your actual web page, it goes inside the body tag. And this is where most of your HTML tags will go. Most of the time when you're building a web page, it's going to be inside the body tag. So there's a few important points to take away from this basic HTML skeleton. First is that tags can go inside other tags. Second is that we use indenting to show the structure of the tags, to show which tags are inside of which other tags. And lastly, the structure of an HTML document can be described as a tree. And you'll see what I mean by this in a second. So first off, we see from this basic HTML template that tags can go inside other tags. We see that the head tag and the body tag are both inside the HTML tag. Also, we see that the title tag is inside the head tag. Now, every time we have a tag inside of another tag, we indent those tags over. So everything inside the HTML tag is indented. We see that everything inside the head tag is indented one further. This helps us see the structure of the web page. It helps us see which tags are inside which other tags. And we can see that with the layout of these tags, the HTML page is actually laid out like a tree. At the very root of the tree, we have HTML. We have the HTML tag. Now, the HTML tag has two children. It has two tags that are inside of it, and that's the head and the body. So the head and body are right next to each other on the tree. Now, inside head, we have the title of the page. So title goes beneath the head. Now, if we were to start adding things inside the body, say we added an H1 tag. Now, the H1 tag is indented over on the document, and we see that the H1 tag goes below the body in the tree. If we added another h1 tag, then they would both be on the same level of this tree. So that's what we mean by the tree structure of the HTML document. So if we want this HTML document to build this example web page, we're going to have to use this HTML structure. So first off, let's add the HTML tag to let the browser know that everything inside there is HTML. But that's not enough. The browser doesn't yet know that my first web page has to go in the top and hello needs to go inside the actual page. So to split those up, we're going to make the head and the body tags. This says, hey, my first web page should not be displayed on the actual page. It is metadata. It is information about the page. Whereas hello, that's actually on the page. That should be displayed. So that's going to go in the body. Now, furthermore, inside the head, we need to tell the browser what the my first web page is. How does that describe the document? Well, it is the title of the document. So when we do that, we make a new child, a new node in this tree, and that is the title. 
And this tells the web page, hey, my first web page should be put right there. That's where it should be displayed. Now for the hello, we can't just leave that hello blank like that. We need to tell the browser how to display the hello. To do that, we put h1 tags around it, make that h1 tag, and that tells the browser, put hello right at the top of the web page, and make it nice, big, and bold. And lastly, we can't forget to add the doc type at the top. We need to tell the browser, this is HTML5. This is the version of HTML that we're using. So this is the basic structure of an HTML page. And this is what we'll need to use from here on out. Let's see this in the editor. So now we're back in the CodeHS editor. And our goal here is to make a full web page with a title and a body. We want the title to say, my first web page. And we want the actual page to say, hello world. So first, I'm going to get rid of that sidebar. And this is, this is where we'll write our HTML code. So let's set up the structure of our HTML page so that the browser knows where to put what text. The first thing we need to do is define the document type. So the doc type is HTML. Now, if we go over to sections, we can see we have the HTML section, the head section, and the body section. HTML says, hey, all of this, all of this text is HTML. Head says, this is all the metadata for the document, and the body holds the actual content of the document. So HTML goes right beneath doc type, and inside the HTML, we want both the head and the body. Now, we want the title of our web page to be my first web page. And the title is metadata. The title is information about the document. So we'll put the title inside the head and say, my first web page. So now we've set the title for the web page. So if you run this, we can't actually see anything show up in the content of the page because we've left the body empty. But if we see the HTML in a new window, we can see that the title worked. We've set the title to show up in the browser as my first web page. Now we need to actually fill in the content of the page. So to do that, let's make our h1, our h1 tag that says, hello world. Now if we see this in a new window, there we go. Here's our first simple web page. It has a title, my first web page, and it says, hello world inside the body. Now it's your turn.